Hello everyone, welcome to the ZStream. Today I will be showing you how to set up the Minecraft Coder Pack for Mac. If you have, if you're on Windows, go click the link right now and go to the Windows version of this tutorial because it is a little bit different. Anyways, this is your first step into the world of Minecraft modding, if you don't already know that. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. First, the only thing you'll need for this tutorial is MCP, which stands for Minecraft Coder Pack. Um, when you download it, it may or may not come as a zip file, but if it does, just unzip it, and you will get this MCP folder. Okay, and this is what it should look like. This this tutorial is updated for MCP version 3.1, which is made for uh, Minecraft Beta 1.5, I believe. Okay, so to set up MCP, what you're going to need to do is open up a new Finder window, and go to your home folder here. It'll be called something different for you. Um, just because it's it's called whatever you named it and then you're gonna go into your library folder so, um, go to application support then scroll down go to into minecraft you'll have to play minecraft at least once so it so it can set up all these uh, all these uh, folders yes and then copy the bin and the resources folder I'm gonna copy two items Close this, and you're going to go into your MCP folder and paste them into the jars folder in MCP. Okay, now we are going to open terminal. If you don't know how to open terminal, you can press command space and then type in terminal like this, and it should you should be able to find it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in cd, which stands for change directory, and we're going to drag in the MCP folder. This tells Terminal that we're working from the MCP folder. And then we're going to type in bash. And this is how we use MCP. You have to type in bash and then you drag any of the .sh files into Terminal. So clean up .sh, if you drag that in, that will clean up MCP and it'll uh, like undo all of your changes in case you like screwed up and you want to like edit undo. Um, decompile is what we're going to use in a second to open the Minecraft source code. Recompile will put the source code back together so that you can test your game after you've changed the code. Reobfuscate will, um, it, it's kind of like recompiling, but it'll like, it sort of encrypts the code, if you want to call it that, so that it doesn't, uh, it's not as easy to edit anymore. Because you're not actually allowed to, uh, release Notch's code, like the code for Minecraft, because just for copyright reasons. So you actually have to reobfuscate all your mods before you release them. And then if after you reobfuscate them, um they'll be able to, ah, that makes them so that other people can actually install them. Start client.sh is what you use after you've done after you change okay, so this is how you mod Minecraft. First you decompile and you'll get the code, then you change the code, and then you recompile, and then after you recompile, if you want to test the game, you can do start client and you can test it and then if you've tested it and everything's all good then you can reobfuscate and you're done modding and that's basically what I'm going to show you um, and update MCP that just updates the MCP in case there's an update available and start server that's if you want to make your own server mods one thing if you want to make your own server mods you have to copy the mine uh, the server.jar into this jars folder and then it'll decompile that for you but I'm not going to do that today so what we're going to do is we're going to type in bash here and then space and we're going to drag in the decompile.sh. And now it'll say updates available. Please run update MCP to get them. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in bash again and we're going to drag in update mcp.sh because that's how we run it. And it'll say update uh, new version found blah, blah 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 and it says change log there's a small bug fix for using MCP offline. I tried to film this tutorial like 10 minutes ago, but it didn't work because I was offline and yeah, I was just being stupid. So, if you're having a problem, you should try updating and that might help. So, and then it says, do you really want to update? So you're going to type in yes, and press enter, and it'll say retrieving files from server, yada yada yada. And there, now it's done updating and it should work. We'll type in bash, and we'll drag in decompile.sh again. And press enter. Oh, and it doesn't work. Oh, wait. 
Oh, this might be because my this might be because I installed something on my Minecraft. Here, let me get a fresh Minecraft jar. I um, mean, the bin and resources. Um, here, I backed it up, and this is why. Okay, I'm gonna copy these. You don't have to worry about this, guys, because this is just me. Delete those. Paste these in. I hope that's why. I'll explain in a second if it works. And now it's taking a minute. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to use MCP with Mod Loader, but as soon as I get it working, I will show you guys how. And now it's doing all sorts of crazy stuff. That shows it's working, so I'm going to explain what I just did. Um, make sure that when you drag in the bin and resources folders into your Minecraft um, MCP jars folder, make sure that um, you haven't installed any mods onto Minecraft yet, because as you just saw, it won't actually work. Um, and yeah, so you need a completely fresh and unedited Minecraft bin and resources folder. Okay, so now it's decompiled, and remember how the source folder was empty before? Now if we go into source, there's Minecraft, yay! And if you go in, into net, into Minecraft again, and then into source, these are all your classes. This is the source code for Minecraft, and that is what you will be editing to make your own mods. And, uh, yeah, if you had put in the Minecraft server.jar into this jars folder here, it would have come out with another folder in source called Minecraft server. And if you want to make a server mod, you have to edit the code in the Minecraft server folder in source, not the mine this Minecraft code, all right? Because it's a little bit different. Um... And yeah, here I'll show you. So, um, this is the code. You can actually edit it with uh, text edit if you want. You can say open with text edit, and that's the code if you want to change it. Um, here, why don't I make a quick mod just to show you that it works? We'll go into block dirt, open with text edit, and we will say no. Dirt's not a good one to edit. Let's see, where's block log? Here. Oh, crap. I opened it with Edit Rocket. Edit Rocket is the program that I use for editing code because it's, as you can see, it's a lot clearer than, uh, than using text edit. So we're going to navigate into the source folder. You can actually download Edit Rocket. I'll put it in the link in the description. I also have a a uh, serial key for it which does work so if you want to register your edit rocket and keep it forever that's also in the description um, and basically yeah this helps you look at all the code without having to open edit rocket it's very convenient so we're gonna find block block log where's block log block log and we're gonna change this to here I'll just change this to a hundred no, not 100, 64. Um, I just went into block log under here where it says public int quantity dropped, and I said return 64. So instead of dropping one log each time you uh, break a log, it should drop 64. That's a very basic mod just for you, just to demonstrate. And now, after you've made your mod, um, don't worry, I'll explain how to make more mods in other tutorials. This tutorial is just for how to set up MCP. So, let's just, I'll just assume that after you've made your mod, after you've edited the code like I just did, you can type in bash in terminal. Remember, you do have to still do the CD thing, the change directory, before you do this. Uh, we're going to type in bash and we're going to do recompile. Recompile! And this will put the code back together so that we can test the game in a second. And if there's any errors in your code, it'll tell you right now, which there aren't, for me at least. Uh, and then, um, what am I looking for? Start client.sh, and this will open up a Minecraft for us so that we can actually test it. Single player, create a new world, name it something interesting like new world, and watch this. Watch the magic happen. Happen. 
I'm gonna go hop over to this log. Here, I'll full screen. Full screen. Now, if I break this log, it should give me 64. Oh my God! That that that's yes. See, it works. I just got 64, as you can see here. I got 64 wood from breaking one log. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's like this torrent of wood. Oh wow. That's a pretty cool mod for lazy bums.